Alright, um, this is ABT and this is a bunch of ways to customize your desktop or laptop. And, um, even if it's new or old or, you know, you just want to, you know, just want to make it look cool. So the first thing we have, which is already on here, is called, um, Rocket Dock. Um, most of you have probably heard of it. Rocket Dock is, um, makes it look like a Mac theme. You know, you have a bunch of icons that you can put on there. Um, I have a bunch on here, but it shows like recent just objects that you want, like Pivot or um, Windows Movie Maker. You could just just drag and drop. Now, if you want to download this, the link will be in the description. And here's a couple of rules. I mean, here's a couple of details. Um, dock settings. You can do whatever you want with it. You know, you can make how tall as you want. And you can have like, see, you could center it. Let me scissor that back. All right. You can do like edge offset, how tall it is or how small it is. I keep it like I keep it a little bit right there, and you just click OK, and then it's done. Um, now to get this to just be there on regular, there is a thing called a range icons by. You go to show desktop icons. Now that's going to be checked. Mine is unchecked. See, um, it's going to take a while. That's going to be checked, but mine is unchecked. So, um, yeah, um, wait for it. It's gonna load in a couple of seconds. Um, I'm sorry that it's taking a long time, but um, yeah. And there, see, all of my stuff is on here. I don't know why I like double spaced it, but once you um undo it and you do it again, it like puts a bunch of different, puts a bunch of the same things on one. See how that has documents, documents, Internet Explorer. You know, it doesn't really matter about that. Um, that. Um, you could put all that. There's a thing called Yahoo Widgets. Um, I think it's pretty cool too. It's um awesome program, but like if you if you you can download widgets for it. Um, Yahoo Widgets is kind of like um an app store for the iPod, but it's for your computer. It's like a iPhone for your computer with apps. See, I can't load it right now because it it takes like a long time to load, and you need a lot of memory to load it. Um, Yahoo Widgets you can have it at the top of your screen, your side of your screen, anywhere you want. Oh, let's try that again. Um, hold on. Icon settings. So you can change what it is. You can have. See, these are all the I. You know, these are icons that I have on there. I don't know what the shirt is for, but you know, I think it's like show your support. Um. Yeah, but right there, you can um. You can just use Yahoo widgets. You can drag it down there, and you can drag and drop whatever you want to this rocket dock. You can change the way the rocket dock looks. I mean, the rocket dock looks like um, oh, not icons. It's style. I have Zach Tune because I think it's the best. You can get more, so you can have that. You can change it. Arrow milk, arrow glass. Um, but I use the last one because I think it's you know cool. But you know you can change it to whatever you want. Okay, here goes another thing for this. Cursor that I have, I made it custom made um, with this program. Real, real World Cursor Editor. So, the tutorials on how you do it if you, you want to do it. You, know. um, you can do whatever you want with this. You know, if you want to create, you can open up. You can open up. Um, see, see, let's open up 3D Gardo. You can open it up and you can change it. See? You can change it to however you want. Like if you want to have like a mask or something, you can do it like that, and then have like a squiggly line or whatever. You can do whatever you want with it. You can have animations too. See, like this right here, 10 seconds per 60. I don't know. You know, I'm not an animation. Well, I like to animate. Um, you can go to add frame, create a new frame, or you can duplicate the frame and then erase and erase. That's what I did. Um, yeah. No, I did not want to say change it. Um, but that was three things. And another thing is this right here. Um, Astro Gemini Screensaver Manager. You can click on here. Um, no, I don't. You can click on here and you can um preview screens before you get them. Well, no, you gotta download them before you preview. And um, this is one I got. I got 3D Matrix. I thought it was pretty cool. You know, it. I mean, it's not exactly like the Matrix, but it reminds me of it. Um. Yeah, I like it. Um, you can have 3D Matrix, and you can have 80 every day, enable rotation. Um, more screensavers you can download whatever you want. You know, see, 
flower clock 3D screensaver. It can be, you know, 3D matrix. I think you, um, if you want even more, you gotta, um, go to web update. Update it, but, um, yeah, and that's, it's four things, and, um, a good thing to have when your computer is called Cam Studio. Because Cam Studio records your whole screen, audio, and everything. And, um, I think it's good, you know, if you want to, like, do stuff like that. Alright, um, MBT, let's see, um, let's go to, there's a program, I don't, I, um, pretty sure I know the name of it. It should be Top Deck. Or something like that, or like, 3D Screen. 3D screen. Um. Not screen savers. It's like, um. Right here, 3D man. Um. Oh no, this is not it. That's not right. Um, the thing about the 3D thing, I think it's top deck or something. I'll put it in the description. I'm sorry if I get the name wrong, but, um. It brings up multiple windows as in a 3D format. And you can just scroll through them. I mean, I thought it looked cool, but I didn't like it because I didn't really care for it. There's another one that's in a cube design. Like, you can, like, swirl it around and click whatever on the cube. And, um, I'll put both of those links in the description for you to download. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so, um, um, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Well, that was you know, a bunch of ways.